Moving on to the actual interface of the data tumbler, there is a simple drop-down menu next to Dots Web Services to Use that can be used to select the web service you plan on using. Some services, such as address validation, even offer an additional drop-down to the right in order to select runtime preferences such as validate address with delivery point validation or validate address with suite link. Below that and to the right, you will see two buttons, one to manage your key and one to view reports. By clicking on manage key, you can set up your account preferences. Depending on which key you're using, you will need to select between trial or production. From there, you simply just need to type in your license key and desired email address. Report allows you to run a query on your currently selected service to see how many transactions have been performed using your license key. This is a great way to keep track of how many transactions have been consumed. Certain services offer the option to customize input columns. This allows users to quickly structure the data tumbler to match the format of a CSV file. For example, if the file you're going to process only has one address, you can uncheck address 2 and that column will be removed for ease of import. Address validation also offers an option to customize output columns. This allows users to adjust how much detail is appended to the data that you're processing. While we offer over 20 options, only a select few of them may be desired. If at any point you forget to select additional options, they can be adjusted after the data has been processed and it will automatically append or remove what you have selected.